she's giving like you know hey girlfriends welcome back to my channel if you don't know me i'm destiny it's been a while since the last time that we hung out the last time that I uploaded a video, I think it was over two years ago when I was doing the spooky get ready with me. A lot has changed since then. The setup is obviously different. Um, my hair is obviously shorter. And we got this cute side that says, hey girlfriends. So I'm super excited about her. Today I'm going to be filming a Fenty review slash get ready with me slash um, story time of why I dropped out of college just because a lot of people don't really know. So if you want to see if Fenty is worth your money, keep on watching. And also if you just want to be chismosa or chismosa, keep on watching too because I know you're here. Okay, so before I start, I just want to go through everything that I got. Um, at Sephora, I got the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation in shade 185. I also got the concealer in 130. Ooh, the really cool um, shaped lipsticks. Um, this one is in Uncuffed. I wanted the other one, the lighter nude one, but they didn't have it at Sephora. Um, and then I also got the Cause I'm Black mascara. I got the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in shade Summertime Wine. I got the Cause I'm Black Fly Liner, the liquid liner, and the unbuttoned in the really cool shape. The Diamond Bomb, like, foil diamond veal, which is like the highlight with all the sparkles. Cream bronzer and macchiato. Lastly, I got the Instant Retouch Setting Powder in shade Lavender. I don't know why I got lavender, but something was telling me to choose lavender. We're going to start with the matte, the matte pro filter primer so i used to go to uno for for business so it was on a wednesday in april and it was around like four in the afternoon and i was walking back to my car from the scholarship and i had parked at elmwood because you have to park for you have to pay for parking on campus and that's like $200. And like me personally, I don't drive to school. My mom would drop me off and then Julio would drop me off at my house. Um, or my mom would pick me up or I would do like online classes. But that's how like I did school. <clears throat> I had to drive myself to, to my interview um, just because I had to go to work right after. If you, if you know, like I'm walking from, what building is that? It's like from the gym to Elmwood in heels. I was tired. I got asthma. When I was walking to my car, I noticed um, some random dude was like doing those like lunges in front of my car. And I was going on the passenger side of my car to put my backpack in. And um, I feel someone start pulling on my arm as I'm closing the door. And then I see this white car, like, just blocking my car from getting out. And this guy's, like, pulling me to his car, and my glasses literally flung. Like, they flew off my face. There was one guy driving and one guy pulling me in. And the guy driving was like, hurry up, hurry up. But I froze and I didn't. I was literally walking with him. I was like, what's going on? And then, like, it clicked in my head, like, bitch, you need a fight. So I kicked him with my heels and I literally, like, scratched him. I couldn't say anything. Like, nothing was coming out. I was trying to scream, but nothing was coming out. And then, like, the guy eventually lets me go. And... I remember running around toward like in front of my car and like locking the door and then I like my first call was to my mom but she didn't answer 
So my second call was to was to Julio and thankfully he answered and I don't call Julio like ever. So like he knew like it was for a reason. And after Julio, after I called Julio, I called the police and they came. They had me freaking go back to the parking lot where he went down. I had driven, I had driven, I had drove, I had drove. I drove away once I was calling the cops. Like I literally sped off into the neighborhood. I think I was going like 60 and like a 25. I was literally shaking so bad like i was bawling my eyes out like she could not understand what i was trying to say i was like i need help like i need help once like they were asking questions to people who were all around there there was literally nobody in the parking lot nobody let me take a second to blend this out i don't know if i like this concealer it's really thick it's kind of dry uh, i don't think i like it I don't know, it's too dry for me. Should I do it with, I'm gonna do it with the beauty blender, hold on. Mm, she will do. I mean, it's all right, it's blended out more, but it's a little too dry for me. All right, just to cover up my blemishes and the redness, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Conceal Unfixed Light Sand Pot Concealer. I'm just going in with a concealer brush and I'm also going to let it dry just so it has better coverage wherever I feel like I need more coverage. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are red. I'm going to be going in with this shade. Basically, they told me like, you gotta call into work call into work like tell them you're gonna go down to the police station i was like i don't really want to go i was literally by myself i went down to the police station they took pictures of me i had a giant bruise on my arm from the guy like pulling and yanking me i had a whole bunch of scratches on my chest i was there for literally three hours the only thing i wanted to do was i wanted to go home and they weren't letting me go home Okay, so now that my concealer is a little bit more dry, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and lightly tap it in to my skin. So now I'm going to go in with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation in shade 180. Oh no! I literally tried every... No, we're going to make it my shade. It's going to be my shade. It's going to be all right. No pasa nada. Quote by Nayeli. Oh wait, hold on. We can make this work. I've had worse. I was at the police station for I think like three hours giving statements. Giving like just um, like details of like how they looked and what the car looked like. Knowing like if you know me, you know I'm literally clueless. Like they kept asking me like so what kind of car was it like would you recognize it if you saw it and i was like i don't know probably like it literally had no plates it was like a small white car with four doors it's like the concealer like it's kind of dry like it wears nice but it's like making my forehead really dry this is <gasps> so pretty so pretty beautiful so this is the cream contour cheeks out macchiato 03 cream con cream contour so i'm just gonna take the beauty blender we're at some product damn <laughs> okay so that's 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 nice that's cute i go home after three hours at the police department they asked me if i wanted an escort home and i was like no nah, like y'all can leave me alone now the next morning um the dean of the school called me to set up a meeting in her office i went to her office and we just talked about like my options because it was like i think there was like two weeks left of like the first semester she was like i'll talk to your your professors you don't have to take any of your finals like your grades are going to be frozen like don't worry about anything so come to like the end of the semester when grades are out and like everyone's pooping their pants i checked my grades because i just wanted to make sure that like my grades are still good and i was eligible for fafsa to apply for the next semester um i look and i failed 
everything and I called the dean I was like um nothing was frozen and I failed all my classes so what's what's going on she didn't even contact me back now that I think about it she avoided me and I went to my academic administrator I used to, like explained the situation I was like this is what she said was going to happen and this is not what happened and they were like well next time get it in writing because it happened on a Wednesday and I don't think I went to school for the rest of the week and um I basically didn't talk to anybody like I did not want to leave my house like at all or like I was just trying to avoid it at all costs. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Fenty um, Cream Blush in shade Summertime Wine. There is this lady, I forget what channel she works for, but I think this was like the, probably the eighth person that had called me. Like I was still processing everything and I was still trying to like make myself forget that it actually happened. But it's hard to forget when everyone's calling you to do an interview um it's not like something that it's like a touchy subject and people were just making it into a story bring awareness to it but also putting me through something that i wasn't ready to be put through but this is what the shade looks like me trying to tap it off okay i did the interview and i don't remember exactly what i said during the interview they only shot my hands so i had my butterfly ring if you know me like when i'm anxious like i'll pick out my hands i'll like i'll twirl my hands around it was like reshared on facebook and someone tagged me they're like you need to be careful when you're going to school but like no one knew it was me so they were tagging me in the video not knowing it was me they're like you know like i understand like they wanted to be like hey you need to be careful like there's things like this going on to people but that person that it happened to was me i didn't tell anyone it was me until like three months after it happened um like only my my close circle knew it was me and then some people that figured out that it was me um but yeah i dropped out because of that i failed my first semester because my grades were not frozen and then since i failed first semester i didn't qualify for fafsa but on the plus side since i dropped out i got to go to new york to study at the makeup forever academy and i thought it was so like amazing getting to do something that i actually loved i was one of the youngest people to ever go there so i feel like this was like a learning experience like even though something really like traumatic and horrible happened to me i was able to get the guts to do something that i was actually passionate about i don't know i think things happen for a reason and because of that i was able to do what i really wanted to do you know what i didn't do i didn't set under my eye so we're gonna do that now because i really want to know how this um lavender oh i really want to know what this lavender uh setting powder looks like and what it does mm -mm 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 -mm. Just, yeah it looks lavender Oof. it's super soft i'll give her that this is really like purple i didn't think it was gonna be this purple see i'm telling you we made this foundation work now i'm moving forward with the beautiful highlighter ever like there's sparkles all over it. i have not looked at the color yet and this is in shade Rose Rave. She looks a little bit like, I don't know, like not. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hello? I like a blinding highlight, but that's just me. All right, so going back to my story, I think things happen for a reason. But I did not understand why I had to lose my ID two days before I had to come back um and like me and one of Julio's 
family members I was staying with uh, went to go look for my ID. And when I tell you it was raining, it was literally pouring rain and we were outside without any umbrellas i was soaking wet in my boots and i was wearing a dress because i was just coming out from school when i noticed and i was crying we lived in every subway that i was at it was horrible i was checking the subway because i kept my id and my um subway card on the on the back of my my phone like on my case like inside my case so then when i went in in the morning to take out my my card for the subway i literally dropped my id so uh we were looking at in subways and you know how like sometimes they have like performers inside the subways um there's this guy with a freaking saxophone playing that chicken run song he was just making the situation so much more worse because it's like okay so i just went in with the cousin black liner and i just did a wing connected it i know they're not the same but close enough two shades that i picked up in the stunna lip paints is unbuttoned and uncuffed and then they gave me this free gift the gloss bomb heat in shade hot cherry that's what it looks like Oh, I think so. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is actually a plumper and like my lips started burning, but this is super cute. Like I like this. It's super nice. I like the color. It's very subtle. This is nice. Okay, now we're going to move on to the lip paints. This is unbuttoned. Yeah. Oh! This is smooth. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything. What do you think? What do you think? Do we like her? Do we not like her? Should we try the other one? This one is uncuffed. It's a little bit darker, but I'm just going to add it on top. Okay. Oh, I can add some of this one on top of this one now. Just a little, a little bit though, like the arch. I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty mascara and I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. It feels really like not as high end as her other products. Oh, oh no. It's good, but is it life changing? No. My final thoughts about Fenty Beauty pass on the concealer. I pass on the foundation. The mascara wasn't really life-changing for me. It was it's mascara. Primer, also not the biggest fan of. It's not very life-changing. The Diamond Bomb Rose Rave, not really a big fan of. I do recommend the Diamond Bomb How Many Carrots. Um, that is literally my favorite and go-to um, highlight that I used I put it on top of this one for the blush I'm not too sure just because I kind of feel like it went away and the only thing that's making me look like I have a little bit of color on me is a cream contour which I love I love the bronzer the setting powder I don't know yet just because I added it like towards the end when I was already done with my makeup so I didn't really get a chance to to use it how I wanted to use it so I'm going to update you guys on that, see how I like it. The Stunna Lip Paints, love these. You can't even feel that it's on your lips. Eyeliner is really good. It's just not my cup of tea just because I like a liquid liner with like a, a, a longer brush. I'm not really a big fan of the felt tips. But then again, 
I'm very picky when it comes to makeup just because I've tried a lot of makeup. That does it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment any other ideas or any other products that you would want me to review or any other story times you would want me to do, to say, to tell. Any stories you want me to tell. Yeah. Any stories you want me to tell. I also want to do different things like Melody recommended a mukbang so she could eat with me. Um, I also want to do the nasty flavored soda challenge. Um, I know I'm not going to be very good at that. I also want to do some videos with my friend Bailey. Uh, so just keep on the lookout for more videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for having girl time with me. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye girlfriends. Uh, uh, uh.